Welcome back to Armored Core. Uh, you may notice that our robot is looking a little different than usual. Just slightly. Um, after doing m multiple practice sessions throughout the week, I decided that I'm not good enough at builds yet. Um, and if I, I think if we do succeed with this build, I think I'm going to take a look at it and try to use this as a learning opportunity for future games. Um, but yeah, we're, we're running a tank with Gatling guns and stun needles, um, which was at one point a brute force tactic. I don't think it's ever, I don't think it currently is, because I, I believe the stun needles got nerfed heavily. So I will have to try. It will not be free, but it, uh, should still be helpful, Tracy Games. Yeah. I don't think I'll go back to the- I also love that running this build, you, like, see literally nothing from that back camera, but the back of the robot, there's nothing else. Yeah, if they ever release a feature Gen 6 game, or, um, Gen 7, it would be, I think, helpful to know how to deal with this situation again in the future. Or DLC. Oh god, the DLC is gonna be so hard if they do DLC, though! Oh, he's running the thrusters that I like, too. This is like fighting me. <laughs> fighting Iguazu feels like fighting what I, how I played for most of the game. In phase one, anyway. Well, well. I've been waiting for this freelancer. I became part of this monster so I could crush you. This time... So yeah, phase one, we're just gonna... So, we are running the most possible. Yeah, okay, so you want to stay in the air, apparently. Because tanks drive badly. Yeah, wreck. That's the easy part, though. The hard part is yet to come. Irregulars. But I think I actually did pretty well with that. I've done some testing, and I don't think I've ever done we will bring that well chaos. before. Hello, real all mind. Always a pleasure. See, so yeah, this has the most health, which is going to be convenient. Um, but maybe not that convenient, to be honest. Oh my god, wait, what? Now, I'm not running the generator anymore. Oh my god. This is the worst phase one, phase two I've ever experienced with this build, so, you know, we're doing great for ourselves.
Ugh, this might be the part where I, I mute and just go quiet until we win. <laughs> Yeah, I don't agree with the guy that says that I should... I guess I should have gotten a kick off then. You're almost dead. Get get wrecked. What? What makes you special? You were a mistake, Iguazu. You're a Ugh! Finally! Yeah, so having a lot of health helped. Um Cause it turns out boss isn't that fast. And that's when you see checkpoint reach and then the real final boss comes in. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. You know what would have been great? I need, I should do that too. I should get like a uh I'm, I'm sorry for reading that cutscene. I should get like a sound alert that's like the, the Super Mario Galaxy, you can now please Luigi sound alert, 
where it plays the so sound you when you can now play as Luigi, and then it like displays that you now you can now play as Luigi on the main screen. Cause that would have been perfect for this exact moment. That's not the robot I was using. Main system, activating combat mode. Good game. Um, I sh I should have experimented more with with tanks. I think is what that tanks and Gatling guns. And also, I should have used the stun needle launcher more. It's not bad. I expected more for my first FromSoft game. If I'm being honest. <laughs> I feel like that's only a bit more than uh, Octo Expansion. And Octo Expansion has levels that are rude in a way that I feel like this game doesn't. Um, there are parts of the game that will expect you to change builds. Uh, I'm stubborn, so I don't do that. I recommend not playing like I do. At all. Um, maybe I'll get to a point where I understand, like, I'll understand, like, if I ever, if they ever make more Armor Core games and I play more Armor Core games, maybe I'll get to a point where I'll, I'll understand what's wrong with a build. Um, but I'm not there yet, and so it's very hard for me when my build isn't working to under, to, to know what to change. Um, I should have listened to Blaze. Blaze suggested running more health, um, and that really helped apparently when I ran more health. But I also had to run tanks. I couldn't just run heavier biped. I don't, I don't think I would have felt great with that. Um, and also, I did, like, have, I, I was still running out of AP on that, like, that final boss is hard. Um, I do want to talk a minute, though. None of the guides are up to date for running this boss fight, I think, I feel, because a lot of them talk about how, like, the Zimmerman, like, instantly, um, instantly staggers, which I don't think in my testing is still true. Because I know that the Zimmerman's got, a, like, a huge damage nerf, and I think also an impact nerf, because they were meta for a while in, in multiplayer. And same with the stun needles. Uh, the stun needles, I think, did way more damage in the, the guide video that I used for running this guide than they do here. Um, thankfully, the Gatling guns go burr. Um, I probably should have tested the, the hands... Gatling guns. I know I tested back Gatling guns, but I think the back Gatlings suck actually. Um, so that was a mistake on my part. Uh, I should have tried both. Um, but yeah, no. I feel like just knowing. I I need to. I mean, I don't know if the needle launchers tell say anywhere that they do like the 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 ECS anomaly electrical anomaly anywhere. Um, because I didn't know that before reading up on this final boss, and I feel like if I had known that, I might have used them more often. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I lost my train of thought because ADHD decided to completely pivot that conversation into a completely different direction. But what I was saying is, like, I kind of, I don't know how I feel about games, um, balance adjusting single player content. I kind of wish that single player content just stayed the same at release. But then you also have the multiplayer versions of all the weapons, and so when you patch multiplayer, um, when, you, when you make adjustments for multiplayer meta that's unhealthy, uh, you can leave single player by itself. Um, because here's the thing, is if you're a player like me who's new, and maybe who is a little bit stubborn and doesn't pick up on all the numbers very quickly, and who might want to go read information for what other people are saying about the game, no one's going to have an up-to-date guide from the post-October patch on how to play the video game. 
Like, like all the all the boss guides are from like pre-October. And I still, I mean, I assume if you play better than I do, maybe du du dual Zimmerins are probably still fine because they are still good. They're just not overpowered anymore. But I don't know. That's that. Maybe that's just me. Maybe maybe like focus testing finds that it's more confusing if multiplayer we if weapons differ between multiplayer and single player. But I I would prefer to keep them separate. Um, and I kind of had this realization with it, like Advance Wars 2. I think I had a conversation with somebody about a, an Advance Wars game, and I suggested having a multiplayer, like a multiplayer branch of the, the the characters and single player branch, so that if you find that a character is super degenerate, you can patch them in multiplayer without adjusting how the single player plays at all. Because uh, I think that's important. Just a weird side effect talking about how how slowly I played through this game. All in all, I had fun, and I'm looking for I'll look forward to seeing what Gen 6 has to offer. But also, I'm very tired and I want to move on to something else. <laughs> well, Okay, so Sturm and Advance Wars specifically is meant to be overpowered, so I think it's a little different. But it would be like if you made our Advance Wars 1 as is today, um, Max is super broken. That's maybe not a good example either, but Max is super broken, because you might want to patch single player, but uh, in Max's case. But Max is super broken in, in Advance Wars 1. And, but let's say you designed your single player campaign around Max's brokenness at the time. Um, and then you patch you patch Max to make him less broken in multiplayer. Well, you also make him less powerful in single player too. And now all the single player strategies like it, it, it might change and sometimes it's it's for the better. But like as, I guess as another example, um because I know that there is actually something like that in Advance Wars currently. In Reboot Camp, um, there's a map that suggests that you take both airports, but due to changes in AI, it is actually almost impossible to secure the second airport. It's, I think, the final Yellow Comet mission in Advance Wars 2 Reboot Camp. Um, the game's advice is not really feasible in the current update. I'm sure that was the strategy... I'm sure that strategy worked in the original... But in the, in the sequel, you really can't take that center airport because the AI just charges for it, like, immediately. And there's no way, like, you will lose if you try to put time to focus on that. Uh, you kind of, I mean, what I ended up doing is I played Max for damage because Max is not overpowered but still strong. Um, and then I played Kanbei and I just had Kanbei stall at the bottom because Kanbei tanks like a bitch. Okay, tanks like a truck, because... You know what I mean. Um, Kanbei stalls, because Kanbei doesn't die. And Max actually does the mission. And that works. But it does not... It's not the intent... Like, the recommended, quote-unquote, strategy. But yeah. Thank you all for joining me. And I hope to see you all in the VOD next time. Have a great day, everyone.